our hand is pointing at the aid on the clock face We gotta gather together and ready a plan On how to formulate a lucrative lemonade stand In your adolescent years you had a hand painted sign A sloppy lettering that offered lemonade for a dime You were a little entrepreneur, your parents thought it was cute And all the opportunists in the neighborhood followed suit You profited then off of the asset of youth But now you're 28 years old and long in the tooth You think a lemon slice and sugar water's gonna suffice You need a motto, gimmicks, bravado, you gotta entice I'm no slouch, I took a home economics class so I'll elaborate on Lemonade's illustrious past. Oh! Good Friday, the 3rd, 33 AD. The day God's son was hammered to a lowercase t. It wasn't all that grim based on historical truth. The 30 feet away from Jesus was a beverage booth. With an assortment of fruit, wine, and grain, ale, and ice water for the kids. But the water was stale. The 12 apostles observed this dilemma. They were concerned. Matthew exited the gathering and quickly returned. With a ripened bag of lemons reserved for the purpose of treating a syphilis lesions that were starting the surface. He said, we'll drain these lemons for the juice and pop and add it to the stagnant water for a pleasant result. Judas reached into his robe and shamefully revealed a bottle of honey he stole from last night's meal. He said, this is what Jesus used to eat with his bread and I'd return it to the guy but he's basically dead. So let's add it to the lemon and water to sweeten the mix and move the refreshment table closer to the crucifix. Needless to say they made a killing that day. The Romans wanted the recipe and for it they handsomely paid. So everybody profited and felt refreshed. What happened to Jesus?